This afternoon, I'm going to show you some video of my 2015 Sea Arc VCAT 200. Up front is a 24 volt Altera trolling motor. This is the uh, Cadillac of the line, so to speak. It has the auto pilot, the auto deploy, and auto stow. There's the remote for the trolling motor. There are two. 12 volt batteries connected in series to run this trolling motor. I can run most of the day without worrying about losing charge. Up front in the bow storage compartment I keep my never snag anchor, my anchor ball, and my bow light. It's a nice deep compartment that you can store a lot in. Also Connected to the trolling motor is a Hummingbird 7 inch series trolling, uh, depth finder. I rarely use it, but it's here if I need it. Also, up front is a remote switch for the power tilt trim on the gas motor. Behind that storage compartment is the other front storage compartment. It's about three feet wide, a foot and a half deep, and two foot in the other direction. I currently keep most of my tackle in here. <clears throat> Continuing back, there's the filler neck for the fuel tank. I think it's a 23 gallon tank. I can usually go four or five trips easily without having to refuel. This boat is outfit for catfishing. There's a cutting board for skipjack or shad or carp or whatever you're using for bait. There's rod, there's rod holders all around the front of the boat and the side of the boat. It has the optional Sea Arc rod rack. Right now I have all Driftmaster rod holders and the rod rack is set up to hold six of them. In the rear seat post hole, I've got a uh, rod holder that I fabricated just to hold extra rods and stuff while I'm out fishing. <clears throat> In front of that is a huge 60 gallon live well with aerator. Two dry storage boxes on each side. There is also storage underneath the driver's and passenger seat. This is a wide boat, so you have almost six feet width of storage here. In the driver's station, I have a Humminbird Onyx 8 SI depth finder that I use primarily for marking structure and fish to the side of that is a seven inch Lowrance that is installed with Lake Master maps I use it primarily for navigation power is distributed through two panels the bottom panel has the nav anchor lights the bilge pump and the aerator for the live well there is a 12 volt <coughs> auxiliary switch that I have a voltmeter mounted in but above that there's a voltmeter on auxiliary console there is a 12 volt marine plug and a twin USB port for charging phones or cameras or whatever these control the auxiliary lights I have a driving light mounted up front next to the trolling motor I have two lights on the back mounted to the rod rack bar. So there's expansion if you'd like to add more lights. Comes with a Sea Arc factory bimini top. This is awesome for when it's raining or when the sun's out. 
it'll keep you dry or keep you in the shade. I'm going to hop out of the boat now and show you the outside. There's the VCAT 200 logo. Comes on a Sea Arc factory trailer with spare tire. The tires have been changed from trailer tires to street tires. Has the guide poles on the back of the trailer to help you get the, the boat trailer. There's the transducer for the Laurent step finder. I use it sometimes for more than just navigation. There's the transducer for the Onyx 8SI. In case you're curious, this is the plug for the onboard Minn Kota 3 bank battery charger. There are four batteries on this boat. Two for the trolling motor. One's a cranking battery and one's an auxiliary battery. And they live under this cover right here. The boat, the engine, is a 140 horsepower four-stroke Suzuki with the remainder of a six-year factory warranty. It has power tilt and trim. This motor is very fuel efficient. Again, I can go several trips without having to refuel, but I don't run up and down the lake all day either. The prop is an aluminum prop. It has one small ding and one small bend from, I'm assuming, an underwater log or something I hit. It does not affect a poor performance and an aluminum prop is extra insurance if you do hit something really hard you're going to break your prop and not your lower end the tail light slash brake lights on the trailer have been converted to led there's a 40 inch anchor light that goes in this socket here very clean boat very stable works well in high winds in high waves with two people in the boat a full live well and a full tank of gas she will stay on plane at about 18 miles an hour and will run 35 miles an hour you if you are looking to idle and troll for fish the big motor will idle and the boat will go about two and a half miles an hour if you want to troll for walleye or striper or something like that. It's a fantastic boat. Situations change and that's the only reason I'm selling it. I registered it for three years when I bought it because I had no intention of selling. And if I didn't need to sell it right now, I would definitely be keeping it. If you've got any questions, you can email me at chris.groff, G-R-O-F-F, -F, at comcast.net.